Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. So, today, um, <clears throat> I've done a little bit of work kind of off camera. You can see the motor's kind of sitting flat and I've got the rear end completely mocked up and made the brackets for the springs and everything to sit on. Um, <clears throat> for those, I just kind of ended up taking a piece of the same size of the railing, cutting it on a 45 degree angle, and then just kind of cutting a little bit of that 45 off. Um, his is pretty close to what that is. Um, he's got a big groove, so he can adjust kind of the ride height of his rear end. So <clears throat> I've still got to do that. Um, for the motor... Um, same thing, I ended up taking those and cutting them at like a 60 degree angle to uh, get the motor mounts. Um, kind of what I'm thinking on this is uh, it's kind of got like a flat plate with a bolt going through it that goes into this. Um, kind of the way my mind's thinking for that. And then on the front, pick this up a little bit, we have front carrier for the suspension so that's what I'm going to show you on uh, how I made this um, so I'm gonna get the camera flipped around and get the stuff I need and show you how I built this so be right back alright guys so this is what we need pencil front grill and this thing um, <clears throat> And kind of take a closer look at this and kind of see it's flat barred um, goes up steps and then we have the mount for the top of the control arms and the bottom control arm so this is what we are going to make together so first thing I ended up doing is just taking and drawing a center line down and then taking the grill, lining it up um, on the top part of the grill, on the point, and then the bottom part of this grill. And then, actually I take that back. I lied. What I ended up doing um, is actually what we're gonna do, sorry about that guys. So I'm just drawing center line down each box. That's where the grill is gonna sit. I'm drawing the outline of this grill. So now we have the grill. So the next thing is I'm going to draw, let's get this in here, this top bar. We're gonna start here and work our way around this around this. Um, so right now I'm just going to draw it at the bottom part of this frame. Um, I use the reference as one of these blocks is the same thickness as that. So we're going to draw a center line down the grill. <clears throat> so I know looking at his picture, um, I'll kind of draw this for you. It goes up, flattens, goes up and then off of this has the kind of mount for the control arm to sit and then down here would be another one for the control arm to sit <clears throat> so I know it sits 
at looking at his pictures, um, coming off the grill, he has a little bit of gap and then it starts to actually go up. So we're gonna kinda, again, I'm gonna go about halfway off of this grill. And then off of this point, um, this took me quite a while to actually get the right angle because I don't have anything that tells me the angle. So we're going to kind of play with this and just I'm just going to roughly show you guys how I actually built this. So I know I went up a full block here. <clears throat> then we went, I know I went a about a half a block. And then I know about the same angle as what I did off of this half block. All right, so there is our kind of the start of this, oh, you'd call it a carrier for the front suspension. Um, oh, where'd my little piece go? Sorry guys, I thought I had it up here. <clears throat> so, just took a piece of round tubing. That's what I ended up using. Taking it here. Just tracing a complete circle. Around this. That kind of gave me you know, when I go to sand this piece out of the plastic, that gave me my dimensions, what I needed to do. Um, then I just kind of took this same angle and just ran it down. And then we're going to take this. This is the bottom part of the grill here. And we're going to run this line. All the way over and I'm gonna take the same round bar kind of get it right to where it needs to be and did the same trace so these lines can go away and this line here can go away now I ended up building this piece about five times um, redrawing it different angles different dimensions side to side until I actually got it how I wanted so this has been a pretty tricky part um, to actually figuring this out so the next thing take your exacto blade your exacto knife with a really sharp blade we're going to fold right on that first center line that we drew. And then we're just going to cut this pattern out, making sure we cut through both pieces of paper. So now we have our half section of our frame. It's not exact what I did, of course. Sorry. Now the next step is to take your sheet of plastic. And what, all we're going to do, I'm just going to rough cut this. Cut this into chunks. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, now we have that. We are going to unfold this. <clears throat> oh, look, I cut them short. That's all right. This is for demonstration purpose only, right? And then a piece of just clear scotch tape over top of this. And then our template will stay where it needs to. We'll take some clamps. Now the stuff I used is a little bit thicker than this stuff. Um, I ended up having to use my Dremel with a cutoff wheel to get all the big chunks out of it and I had to go back and file everything down really nice to the exact dimensions I wanted. Um, with this kind of lighter styrene, um, it cuts really, really easy. And then all you're gonna do, cut out your pattern. All right, so we still have them kind of taped together. So the next thing, the easiest thing, why these two are the same, so they'll be from the front one and the back one, they'll be the exact same shape and everything. So it's easier just to sand right to your template now. You know. You can get all your edges sanded. Move this clamp up here. Then you can get your rounded corners right to your template. So you have a nice rounded corner. And then the other thing I would do I know I'm going to pin this one, so before I unclamp everything, take your pin drill and drill out your holes now while both pieces are together. And I know my other one's down here. Then you know when you go to actually assemble these two components together, like I've done on the front here, your pins to hold your suspension and everything line up like they should. So then you can just separate them, peel what's left of your template off, save it if you want to or not. And then you have two identical copies of your pattern. Um, then just get them glued onto the truck and away to the races you go. So I wanted to talk to you guys, I know about this video. Um, I know it's a little kind of hodgepodge, kind of thrown together. Yeah, I'm aware. But uh, thanks for sticking around. Um, if you actually made it to the end of this video the next one we are going to make control arms um, Top and bottoms. That's going to be pretty cool. I've came up with a pretty unique way um, in taking some uh, Metal tubing and making some control arms um, So make sure you stick around until next time 
Um, you guys are awesome. Until next time, this is Dragon Speed Shop, and I'm out of here.